Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. This is Sambu from Cloud Tech. So today session I will go through like one important service in AWS like uh, AWS VPN like uh, virtual private network. And in this session I am going to cover like as a AWS developer how you can configure the VPN and as a network administrator, right? How you can on on prem system, how you can configure the tunneling setup so that uh, from on prem system to your AWS cloud, how you can communicate, right, guys? So here two different role I will cover today in this session. And for this demo, uh, in a uh, like uh, I will use like AWS account as a to configure the AWS VPN, all these things. And for customer system. I, or on prem system, I am going to use the Azure Cloud. Okay, guys. So, what are the components we have in that Azure uh, VPN? So, these are the components customer gateway, the virtual private gateway, and site to site VPN connection. Okay, these three co components will do the configuration as a AWS developer. Then we'll uh, download that configure file and then we'll pass to that administrator developer. So here I am the administrator. I will show you end to end solution like how we can set up the tunneling. So, so for that, this is my architecture diagram. So before that, let me clarify like what this AWS VPN basically. Sorry, VPN is the like virtual private network, right? What does mean is like uh, it's kind of private tunneling right suppose when you are transferring data from on prem system to cloud or from cloud to on prems when you are doing the communication right so if you do set up this kind of tunneling like vpn like it's kind of a network level one more security security right the data will be go by using this tunnel right if this is the tunnel suppose then it will go by using this tunnel if you are not set up the tunnel right this is a public cloud then data will transfer from over the public internet, right? Instead of that, if you set up the VPN, then it will always data will be more secure so that a hacker cannot uh, like attack your data, right? So that's the intention of this. Uh, so for that, uh, what I am going to do in AWS, I will create one VPC and in that VPC, I will deploy on DB and then these are the component. So VPC I have already demonstrated in my previous session. So please guys have a look and similar VPC in Azure, Azure we have like VNet virtual network. So I have already demonstrated this one also in my previous session. So you guys can have a look. I will give this tool link and these are the CIDR range I will use for this demo. OK, guys, so let's move on to the first AWS console. Then I will go to the uh, Azure console. OK, guys, so. Let's go to the AWS console. So this is my AWS console. I have already logged in. OK, so this VPN uh, that can be possible. This is the AWS document that a uh, today's demo uh, side to side connection. We are going to do right single uh, side to side connection that can be possible. Multiple site uh, we can do by using transit gateway. So the, by using this transit gateway also I have already covered this demo. I will give this link to you guys so that you can check like different kind of example. OK, guys, so let's go to the VPC. I'm in the Virginia region. OK, so let's create one VPC here. My VPC with the name my VPC. OK, and then give the CIDR range 10.0.0.0 slash 26. OK, guys, let's keep default everything. Uh, let's give as it is default. And now the VPC creation done. Let's go to the subnet. Let's create one subnet here. For that, let's select the VPC and then give subnet something like that. And then select that 10.0.0.0 slash 26. OK, guys. Let's keep this one. And let's keep as it is default rest of the part. Let's create this. My subnet creation is done. So Go to the route table by default one route table is created. This all component I have already explained in my previous session about the VPC. So guys, if you have any doubt, please refer that session. It will be uh, you will get all the clear idea about this route. Table. Route table basically is a routing your request. OK, so this is my. VPC route table. OK. In this session, for this VPC, I will not create Internet Gateway. Why? Because Internet Gateway is the public endpoint, right? Since I want to keep this as a private, right? As uh, by using tunneling, I want to communicate like VPN. 
so I will not going to create any internet gateway. OK, guys, so this is done PPC. Let's go to the virtual. This is the virtual private network. So before creating virtual private network, so let's go to the Azure also and here. Let's create one virtual network here. So let me give your virtual network name. Let's create. Yes, so now it is created. So I have already created that resource group. So if you not yet watch my previous video about the resource groups, please refer this. Just a minute. Resource group one more time. Go to the log. OK, guys. So. Uh, See now go to the virtual network and now create this virtual network. Select this and give that to my okay, guys. And then next go to the IP range. And then here I am going to give the CIDR value 20.0.0 slash 26. Okay. And let's add one subnet here. Okay. More net something like that and give the cider range here okay one more thing keep in mind guys uh, this uh, this cider range right since on-prem system to our cloud aws cloud we are working right so whenever you are creating that, right, please uh, uh, like now it Azure is the your network administrator, right? It's a, your customer network thing like that way. And this is your on-prem system, right? So whenever you are reserving any CIDR range in that AWS, right? Or you are reserving some CIDR range in that Azure, right? So better this all that's uh, that sync, uh, both the teams sync is very much required. Otherwise, uh, they will block some IP and you will block some other IP. Then it will be very conflict and it will be difficult. OK, guys, so now let's add this one. The subnet is added now review and create. OK. It will take few seconds, so now create. So meantime it is creating. Now let's go to the AWS here and go to the first we'll create that here. We option we have customer gateway and virtual private gateway and side to side connection, right? So let's first create the virtual private gateway here. Let me give that my VPC virtual private gateway VPG. OK, short form we can say and this one you keep default as it is. No need to change here. Let's create this. Once you create a right, it will be detached mode. It's something like when we are creating internet gateway, right? Once you create right, it will be in detached mode. We have to attach to a particular VPC, right? So what we can do? Let's select this one and go to the action and by using this attach we can attach same as like internet gateway right so i already talked about internet gateway right in my previous session you can have a look that so click on attach now it is attaching it will take few seconds so let me go to my uh, azure one so let's see the vpc is it deployed or not so it is deployed successfully right it's deployed right so now let's go here and what i am going to do as per our diagram right so i need to deploy one app server in the vnet so let me know app server is nothing but virtual machine whatever we are doing in aws like a ec2 instance same thing we can do in the virtual machine so about the virtual machine if you not yet watch my uh, video so you can have a look i have already demonstrated this one so let's click on create click on virtual machine so let's select the resource group and then give app VM. And let's select this one image. We have select the image here. Basically, image we can select Ubuntu, uh, Ubuntu is there. These are the thing for our demo today. I will select the same to us. So if you're not able to see, if you expand that, you can able to see most of the images here, which are image we have. So from there, let's select the same to us image here for our today's demo okay guys and just 
selecting. So, and for this uh, here in AWS, we can do only SSH, right? PM key, right? PM key or put key, right? But in Azure, we can do either SSH or password. And there are one more option, Bastion. Maybe in my subsequent video, I will talk about Bastion also. So now let's give the users okay, something like that and give the password. So password have some uh, requirements. So you have to follow this, all these requirements. Otherwise, it won't allow you to create the password. Okay, some length, some special character, uppercase. These are the things you have to follow. Okay, guys. So. Let me give that password. So this is done. Uh, now allow SSH only. I will do SSH. What happened here? It's not selected. Let me go again. Save. Send to SSH. Change. Let me show you CentOS selected. These are the thing. Let me just quickly select the networking. See, this my VNet we created, right? And this is our side range, right? So let's review and create. Get this. So it will take few seconds to deploy. So let's deploy here. Meantime, what we can do? Let's see in AWS that attachment that uh, VPG is attached to that our v, uh, VPC. Okay, so let's go to the route table to that subnet association and edit subnet. Let's add our subnet here. The route part and edit route add here uh, other. Uh, which like a, a Azure like CIDR range we have to specify right what our Azure range like 20.0.0.2 slash 26 okay guys and then here we have to select that virtual private gateway I have already talked about internet gateway NAT gateway all these things network interspace peering connection now today's session we will talk about virtual private gateway right so let's select this one and let's select we have already created Let's attach. If you not add this one, you can't communicate from Azure to AWS. Okay, guys. So this is done. So let's go to that customer gateway. Now we, we can create. So let's click on customer gateway. And here my PC customer gateway, something like that I can give. And this one, let's keep default as it is. I will not change what this BPG, like a border gateway protocol, basically this one. So in my next subsequent video, I will talk about this protocol more details. OK, for this session, let's keep default and this IP address, right? IP address here, this here two things you have to keep in mind. IP address of your public, what the instance from which instance from the on-prem system, on-prem system in the sense from my Azure virtual machine from where I want to communicate to AWS, right? That particular virtual machine, uh, public in, uh, IP address I need to specify it, or sometime what happened, uh, this all, everything will be the uh, private, right? So we used to firewall or maybe some route uh, we, ha we have to configure, right? So you have to give that route, router public IP address here instead of your virtual, like here always keep the uh, IP address. The IP address, either your virtual machine, either your instance IP address, or maybe router or firewall IP address. OK, guys, so in our case, we don't have any firewall or any routing. So let's go to our instance, whatever we deploy that virtual environment. Right? See here we have a public IP address. Right? So let's select, let's select this one and keep here that one. This point, keep in mind if you have any firewall or if you have any router, give the router IP address or if you don't have anything, then give the instance from which instance you want to communicate to this particular VPN, okay. Let's select default as it is. Let's create. Okay. So this is created. So let me now go to side by side connection. Okay. So let's now we'll come here. And here, what we can do? Let's create side by side uh, like VPN, like virtual private connection. So let me give that my VPC VPN. 
something like that any name you can specify now this is the target right target in the sense like uh, the uh, what the virtual private gateway right so i have already created my virtual private gateway right let's like this one and this is the customer right customer in the sense our azure for our azure what we have created right so uh, that we, we need to select here and here two option uh, one is the bgp like border group security this is uh, this uh, like uh, i will talk about maybe in my subsequent video about this like border gateway protocol for this today session let's select the dynamic uh, one and here we have to specify the prefix prefix in the sense that ip range what the ip range our customer have right so we have like 20.0.0.0/26 26. This is our VNet, like uh, Azure uh, IP range, right? So let's select like this one and rest of the thing keep as it is. And two tunnel. This is the tunneling. I will talk about uh, little more details when we'll do the configuration about the tunneling. Okay. So let's do like this. Rest of the thing keep as it is. No need to select anything. Okay, guys. This one just keep in mind. This is our customer, uh, like in our Azure, whatever CIDR range we have selected, that we have to give here. Okay. Let's click on create. Now our VNet is uh, pending, it is creating. So meantime, what we can do uh, as per our diagram, we have to launch one issue to instance also. So let's uh, what as of still now what I have done, I have done that I have created the VNet, I have created with the CIDR range app I have deployed, then subnet I have created, and then I have created customer gateway, virtual private gateway, side to side uh, VPN connection, right? And this, all these things done. Now is pending is the DB, right? So let's create the DB here. So let's go to the again Azure. So let, let me go to EC2. Let's click here EC2. So it is pending. So it is going on. Complete meantime, we will create one EC2 instance. So let me go to instance, run instance, and launch instance. Server. Server something like that okay and let's keep default everything everything default select the key pair and we have to select our vpc instead of default vpc and this is our subnet and i will not create any public ip since it's a database i will make it as a private now this private how we can communicate by using this uh, vpn i will show you that okay let's select the security group and let's select the default security group here and rest of the thing keep as it is okay no need to change anything let's launch this instance so instance is launching so it is pending state let me go to the security group let me allow all this uh, uh, like uh, inbound outbound request okay guys so let me show you that uh, what is my virtual parent grade gateway what is my vpc let me my vpc id is 92 right so this is our default security group. You can give my VPC security group something like that so that you can easily understand which one is per hour. And here, what we can do, look, let's go to the inbound. Okay. Let's edit the inbound. Let's add everything. I have already talked about uh, in specifics uh, like this option, how we can enable. So in my uh, security group session. So if you not yet watch, please have a look that. So for this session, let's keep everything and outbound also. Let's keep everything. OK. Here also everything. OK, so now let's go to the EC2 instance. Let's see it is running. Yeah, now EC2 instance is running. So let's go to our uh, site by site connection. What it is happening? Still it is in pending or it's available. Now it is available, right? Now what we can do now? We have launched our uh, virtual private network here. Uh, this is our virtual private network, and we have created one one instance VM uh, like VM, right? So this is our private public IP. We can log in. Like how we can do SSH? Let me show you that. So let me click on session. And this session, let me give this one 
and specified the users. Our user, right? What I gave. So let's click it. Okay. Now we have to give the password. Here, uh, either you have to give like a PM file by using PM file, we can do. Since when I have launched the instance, I have given that uh, password, username, password I have set up. So that's why it's asking username, password. Okay, guys. So let's say switch to super user. Okay. Now, what we need to do? So let me do one thing. So is the one more thing I need. So let me. So uh, today's session, right? Uh, now we have created like uh, VPN, right? So let me show you that in AWS we have created the VPN, right? Here we have created the VPN. Up to here as a AWS developer, your work is done. Now what you have to do? You have, once you created the VPN, right? We have to download this configuration file. And this configuration file, we have to uh, specify what kind of now, now we have created the VPN to support the VPN. We have to install some software, right? Either it is a Cisco or maybe like uh, these are the things Cisco, Cyber, or, or here many other things, Jupyter, anything is there, right? For today's session, we'll use OpenSWA for our demonstration. So, what we can do, we'll download this OpenSWA. Once you download, right? Our job is done. Now, next, what we have to do, we have to pass this uh, configuration file to the uh, customer network administrator. So here uh, we are doing end-to-end -end, uh, demonstration, right? So we'll now we'll use like how we can uh, set up the tunneling basically by using that. So that will show you. Okay, guys. So let me open this. So this is I open. So if you see here, right, or tunneling one setup is there. Then these are the configuration thing we have to do here. And this is the left, uh, right. These are the things there, right? So we have to do this all up to this five, this up to this one to five step we have to follow. In that uh, Azure v, v, VM, right? So let me go to one by one. So for before that, let me first install that open SWA. But since we are going to do using this open SWA today, this VPN connection configuration, right? So let me first upgrade that open source for that what I have done I have set uh, this is the command if you are using like any other instead of uh, sent to a site if you are using any others I uh, think then we have to do accordingly we have to install the open source so let's go to here install that so now it is installing it will take few seconds Installing, it's going. It won't take much time. It will it will be very fast. Just um, this is like a network administrative work. Whoever in the network administrator in the customer side, right? They has to do this all these things. As a AWS developer, your work is done to set up that VPN and that uh, IP all this thing configuration that is good enough for your as a developer AWS developer. Now as a network administrator, I am doing this tunneling setup for that VPN is ready. To work on the tunneling, I am installing the open source and our installation is done. Now let's go to the configuration file. This is our configuration file. I will do tunnel one setup. So at a time, two tunnel we have here. Uh, during that time, PSN time we have seen, right? There is two tunnel and at a time, one tunnel will be up. Not two tunnel will be at a time will be up. So for this demo, let's configure one tunnel. So what we need to do, open this file as per one step right so go to this file first so vi and what it's saying like we need to update this all this thing right so let's update here so update save it now we have to do like once you done, right? So let me go to here again. So, sorry, it's coming here. So now we have to run this command. Everything is written here. Once you configure it, just download, you will get all the steps here. We have to follow all the steps. So now run this. So it will be 
applied. Now let's go to the next step. What could be the next step? Open this file. And if it is a comment, uncomment, this is a commented, right? Then we have to do uncomment. Okay, so let's go to here. Most of the cases in the latest, uh, 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 le uh, like latest stuff, right? This will be uncommented, but if uh, sometime it will be commented out. So now in our case, it is uncommented, so we don't need to do anything. So let's come out from here, then go to the next step. Now create this tunnel in this under uh, this file. If it is not present and if it is present, then utilize it and append that to in the uh, end of this file, right? And here two things we have to modify. One is the our left sider value and right sider. This is the like uh, left is nothing but your customer one and remote one is nothing but your AWS one. Okay, guys. So if you see here, right, left is the local network behind your open server, uh, behind your open server, and you will need to replace this local network below value. And this right is a remote network side or a VPN tunnel that you want to connect with your server. Okay, so let's copy this one. And don't worry, guys. Once you configure the VPN, you will get this kind of file. I will give this all command also in this, uh, what I can say uh, in this video description also. Okay, guys. So let's move on to that. First, open this file. And if it is not there, it will be just VI. Okay. Nothing is there. It's a new file. So let's open this. Open this. And let's go to here. Now we need to set to replace this, right? What our team dot o dot o slash twenty six and dot o slash twenty six. Okay, this left IP, right IP. If you want to check, right, you can able to see. Let me show you that. So if you go here. In that virtual it is virtual yeah this is the tunneling if you just go to here in the tunneling details you will able to see all this ip details okay so and if you don't know then what you can do just go to here and click on download and download as a generic you will generic sorry download as a generic you will get all the details also let me show you that also Go here. Let's download and let's open. You will get all the IP details. So let me show you that also. Here you will get uh, one more thing like a PCR key. This also we, we need there. And IP address, right? This is the customer gateway IP address. And then uh, virtual private gateway IP address, right? This all thing you can get here. Okay. So don't worry about that. So let's go here. Now this is done. So let's close WQ. Next, what step we need to follow? Right. Then create this file. If it is not exist, then you have to update this one, right? So let me. Let's go to here. Yeah, and then if it is nothing is there, we have to put a insert that content, whatever content we have here, right? So let's copy this one. Once you copy, right? Let's paste there. So let me go to again here and paste here. Now save it this file. Now this is done. Next, what? Let me go to here. Now tunneling setup is done, right? Now we'll start this tunnel. How we can, let me show you that both the tunnel now, it, if you see here, right? Both are down, right? Once you make it uh, up, right? It will get uh, here, it will see like it is up, right? So let me show you that how we can make it up. 
so for that we have to do this command check config ipsec on first so let me do one by one i will give this all command to this video description link so that now since ship link like a soft link is created here so let me go to here again let me start this one okay guys oh my god why it is getting failed let me check why it is getting failed. OK, one more thing as a developer, I would like to share here this kind of message, right? If you see, you will think uh, sometimes this message is not much helpful, actually. Why? Because if you see this message, right, we'll think like, OK, maybe this IKEA, IKE protocol is in demo. We need to maybe go to there and we need to start this IKEA protocol manually. But uh, if you check actual logs, right? In that, if you go to the logs, let me check the logs. Let me show you that. So actual logs, CD, where logs. Save. If you do, right? So let's go to down, pull down. If you see, right? Fail to start, fail to start, invalid value. Or oh, see, here it is actual message is given here. If you see here, it is saying in that this file, right? Have invalid value, like keyword auth, right? So let me go to there. So what I will do, let's go to VI again. Let me OK, see this is the invalid value, right? So this is actually not need actually. You can remove this one. Since we are using secret, right? That uh, are, uh, that uh, PSK, right? We have configured it. Right? So this is not required. So now let's again on it and see. Now let's start again. So now it is started, right? Now we can check the status also. How we can check the status? Let me show you that. Check the status. So now it is running. Right? We can see it is running. So let, let's go to that tunnel is tunneling. It is uh, going to up or not. So that me, it will take few seconds. So to make it up. So meantime, let me show you one thing. Since it is not up, right? So let me it is going down still right so let me show you one thing here so i have logged in a azure instance right so now let's click this and this is my instance this is my see here no public id it's private id so let me check now tunneling is done right so let me check i am able to communicate this private instance or not how we can check so let's try this See, I am able to ping. It is going right. Why? Because let me go to here. If you go to here, right? Tunneling, and just refresh. To tunnel. See, one tunneling is up here. If you see now, tunneling is all right. So like this, we can make the secure tunneling by using this uh, VPN and Azure on-premise. So here I have taken the Azure, right? Instead of Azure, you can take anything like GCP or maybe some other on-prem system or maybe one more AWS account. Now this is one account I have logged in. You, if you have multiple account by using that also, you can do. And now here I have done one-to-one, -one, right? Instead of one-to-one, -one, we can do one-to-many uh, -to -one -to also. And that will be helpful if you're using uh, like AWS Transit Gateway also as a uh, your uh, like PR that will be more helpful. OK, guys. So like this we can do and I have added in the routing table, right? That's why it is able to communicate, right? So let me show you that one thing. Let's go here and remove this routing. This is the routing policy. If you not add right, then it won't able to communicate. Let me show you that. So let me remove this and then save and let's go to again instance. See here ping will work or not. We'll see. OK. It will take few seconds to apply that. See, now the ping is not working. 
no ping is coming right why because because i have removed the routing so routing is the mapping right so, so that's the purpose we can use the routing and i i hope this uh, debugging point also you can understand right how we can debug and i will give that log uh, where we can check the logs that link also i will give in the video description okay guys so now uh, 100% packet loss you can see right so let me add this routing here again so let me go to routing and edit routing add the policy again here so let me add 20 dot 26 and then here virtual private gateway add it and then save it will take few seconds to apply and now go to our instance see it started pinging right so this is very interesting, right? One cloud to like here two thing I have covered like uh, AWS to Azure, how you can communicate. That is the one thing like if you suppose you are uh, you have a customer and customer uh, want to migrate their data from Azure to AWS or AWS to Azure, right? Anything, Zbars also you can do same thing like whatever uh, VPN connection we have done in the uh, AWS end. Same thing we can we can able to do in the virtual private uh, network. We can do Azure also. Uh, if you search here, right, in that virtual, uh, in this here, right, so in that uh, VIRT, virtual, virtual private gateway, right, this is the one, right? virtual private gateway. We can configure like this here also. Reverse thing also we can do is very simple. So I hope this will helpful to you guys. And if you get a uh, while you are doing the hands on right. <clears throat> if you get any stuck or any doubt or any problem, you can put that too in my comment section, uh, your question or if you got any other errors. So I will address those in my next subsequent uh, video or maybe I will address in the comment section also. But this point, keep in mind this error part, whatever I got, right? So this sometimes this error, it will be tricky for you guys. Yeah, uh, by looking itself, you will think like, OK, this error might be because of this IKE protocol. But uh, I showed you right actual error message here. When you go to that actual error message, there that error is different. Uh, that error message location will be where or uh, where logs and message. OK, I will give that uh, comment to this video description. OK, guys. OK, guys, so I hope whatever thing we have done, uh, let's just quickly check that architecture here one more time. So everything we have covered, I guess. And if you feel like this video is helpful to you guys, then please don't forget to subscribe and like and share with your friend. Then it will really uh, helpful to me. It would really inspire to me to create this kind of more videos. OK, guys, see you in my next video. Thanks. Chalo, bye.